One of the other legacies of the Star Club is something we talked about, the performance artists. From Karen Finley to Grace Jones, Grace Jones almost became kind of the house performer at Star Club. And someone no one's mentioned, for a very obvious reason, is Klaus Nomi. Klaus Nomi was a German performance artist who did opera and, and various other performances in New York City. He even, in many ways, more typified the whole Stark thing from the, the design of being very sleek and simple. And he almost encapsulized Philippe Stark's design philosophy in his little outfits that he wore that were simple. One of his cohorts, Joey Arias and Klaus performed with David Bowie in 1979 in a famous performance on Saturday Night Live. Joey Arias later became kind of a well-known drag queen who came to Star Club on multiple occasions. The reason nobody knows Klaus Nomi or nobody has talked about him is because he died of AIDS in 1983, a year before the club opened. And to me, it's almost symbolic of the whole Stark movement. It almost was over before it even started. Ecstasy was legal and the scene is just starting to burgeon. All of a sudden the DEA comes in, makes it a category drug one overnight. The sexuality of the Stark, gay, straight, bi. All of a sudden now you have this disease, AIDS, that most people didn't really know much about, referred to as gay cancer. Now all of a sudden, again, the summer of 85, Rock Hudson is not only diagnosed with AIDS, but comes out publicly that he's gay and he's dying from this disease. And I think that Klaus Nomi and his, because of him dying of AIDS and him being a legendary performance artist, I think the symbolism is very clear. It's almost over before it even started. And to me, that typifies the whole Stark movement.